watching Taylor's CCF Quick Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be cooking rat pack meals with an alcohol stove. So first I'm going to need my mess tins which will be packed either in my webbing, my day sack or my bergen depending on the exercise. So you can see you've got the big one and the small one kept in place with the handle from the big one. So you just take the small mess tin out and lay it down. You can see I've got my alcohol stove and my alcohol tablets in there ready. So the first thing to do is to fill the large or the small mess tin up with water, about halfway, depending on what you're cooking. So I'm gonna fill up the small one today because I'm only cooking one meal. Filled the mess tin up with water, and I can just lay that down here, ready for later. Next, I'm gonna unwrap the stove and the tablets. It's important to make sure that you take rubbish with you because you don't wanna leave any trace and it's not good to leave plastic bits around the training area. So I'll just put these in the bin. And inside the stove you've got this piece of metal, which is quite useful because you can use it as a windbreak. So I'll just unfold the stove like this, and then place this where it says out, facing away from there. And it helps to completely unfold this. And you'll see that they're slightly offset, these veins on the bottom. So you can slot it onto the side and then close it so it sits flush with the metal there and then you want to face this bit towards where the wind is so it will block it and then if I take my rat pack meal and you just give the top a squeeze so that the food will go to the bottom and this gives you a bit of foil packaging which you can have sticking out the water and it won't matter because there's no food in there so it doesn't need to get heated as much. You fold it over like so and put the bottom bit with the food in inside the mess tin like that and just try and cover it as much as you can but it doesn't matter if a small bit is not covered. So the next thing to do is unwrap the alcohol tablet. So I've unwrapped my alcohol fuel block you just take the foil lid off like this it's best to leave it attached on one side because it's less rubbish you to deal with later and it should just slide out fairly easily and again put the packet in the bin now seeing as this is alcohol you can use it to clean your hands just like that but it's always best just to use the antibacterial wipes that come in the wrap packs as well so i'll turn this around so you can see a bit better you just drop the block in there and there's a bit of metal that's designed specifically so it will sit nicely protected from the wind and i'll just take the packet of matches from the wrap pack and I'll open the end bit so I can get the striking strip out. It's best just to turn the mess tin upside down, hold this nice and taut and I don't think this is working. So now using the matches from the wrap pack or a lighter if you decide to get one of those, which I would recommend, because the matches, they're a bit temperamental. Um, you can see the alcohol is now lit. A quick safety thing is that the flame is not very visible, so just be careful and don't burn yourself on that. And then you want to take your small mess tin with the food in, place it diagonally on the stove like that, so that the handle is away from the flame, and you can then quickly remove it if you need to. Take your large mess tin, place it on the other side like so and that's a lid you can see that there's a small air gap just down there which will allow air to escape as it expands when it heats just wait for a while the block will burn down but your food should be cooked before the block is finished just look out for steam coming out of the mess tin and that's when you know your food's probably done you can open it and enjoy so it's been going for a few minutes now and you can see that the tablet's still burning but our food has got quite hot so I'm just going to take the mess tin off and that is ready to go make sure if the ground is dry um, not to put it down on anything that could catch fire but you can just take this out tear the top off and eat it at your leisure so just tear the top you can see that the rat pack is ready to eat that was Merchant Taylor's CCF Quick Tips, how to use an alcohol stove to make your rat pack meals.